fast occlusive thrombus vasoconstricted vessel. Acute coronary syndrome is very different from stable atherosclerotic disease. No wonder that conventional balloon expandable stents show a higher frequency of adverse events in the early phase of ACS treatment. These two IVIS images of a real acute coronary case show from inside the vessel lumen how a stent which appears well deployed on the left-hand side resulted in a gap between the stent and the vessel wall after 13 months, as shown on the right-hand side. How could that possibly happen? First, as the balloon that delivers a conventional stent is deflated, the stent's natural tendency for recoil could result in initiating such a gap between stent struts and the vessel wall. Second, as the vessel relaxes, vasodilatation increases, resulting in further expansion of this gap. And finally, as thrombus dissolves over time, the gap between the struts and the wall becomes even larger, and hence increases the stent's malapposition. Malapposition is the primary predictor of stent thrombosis. Floating struts disturb blood flow and increase thrombotic risk. With conventional stents, malapposition is induced by stent recoil, vasodilation, and thrombus dissolution. Stentis is bringing a simple solution to the treatment of acute coronary syndrome. The Stentis platform is a self-expanding stent platform that builds on the super-elastic properties of titanium alloy. It is gently and easily deployed over the thrombotic lesion by retracting a protective sheath, and because of its inherent design and properties, it exhibits no recoil. As spasm is relieved, the vessel diameter increases, and the stent follows in expansion and continues its scaffolding of the artery. Finally, as the thrombus dissolves, the stent expands further to absorb the gap left by the dissolving thrombus, thus maintaining a perfect apposition throughout the remodeling process of the vessel. If the stentus stent is deployed across a significant side branch, and if access or treatment of the side branch is desired, a guide wire and a balloon are advanced through the stent mesh and into the ostium of the side branch, as would be done with a conventional stent. Rather than deforming the conventional stent struts, the balloon inflation gently separates stentus proprietary connectors at low pressure, thanks to a combination of flexion and rotation. This allows the free mesh to 